that time of the year where we have 12 institutions across Zimbabwe fighting, eyeing and competing to win the Say What Quiz Challenge. Hello viewers and welcome to the fifth edition of the Say What Quiz Challenge proudly brought to you by Say What and supported by the Swedish Embassy in Zimbabwe. I'm your host and my lovely name is Panache Chibatamoto but as usual you can call me the Dynamite. Joining me on this magnificent stage are our contestants. Please do introduce yourselves. That is your name, institution, and how you're feeling so far, starting off with Podium One. Hi, good evening. My name is Ozias and I'm from Great Zimbabwe University. I'm feeling cool. Hi, my name is Gugule Tumpondo. I'm from Great Zimbabwe University. Um, I don't know. Um, my name is Laura Tendu Makazo from Juno University of Technology, and um, I'm okay. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Tatinda Blesmobako, and I'm from Juno University of Technology, and I'm feeling everywhere. Uh, I'm Prince Move from Kwanda State University. I'm nervous, but I'm also excited. My name is Cynthia Sekete from Kwanda State University. I'm actually okay. Hello, my name is Cecilia Mkwambaranwa from Bindura University of Science Education. I'm feeling happy and nervous. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Munashi Trevachinyawa from Bindura University of Science Education. I'm feeling okay because usually I perform better during the third round. All right, uh, podium number four. What makes your round like better in the third round? What makes it better in the third round? I think I get sharper with time. Okay. And are we still talking about the competition? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're oh, talking about the competition. <laughs> Interesting. I do have the questions with me here, and the ground rules are as follows. I am going to read the question twice and you're given 30 seconds to respond to each question. I hope this is clear. Category 1, abbreviation. Question 1. Under the health arm of Zimbabwe, what does the acronym M C A Z stand for. I'll take it one more time. Under the health arm of Zimbabwe, what does the acronym M C A Z stand for? And your time starts now. Time up. Contestants, please raise your answers, starting off with podium number one. So we have medical AC Zimbabwe. Is that a bold A and a C? Yes, they are. Podium number two. We have mental abuse Zimbabwe. Podium number three. Medical Commission Association of Zimbabwe. Podium number four. Uh, Medical Commission Association of Zimbabwe. And the answer that I have with me here is Medicine Control Authority of Zimbabwe. Let's move on to the next question. In relation to mental health management, what does the abbreviation PTSD stand for? I'll take it one more time. In relation to mental health management, what does the abbreviation PTSD T S D stand for and your time starts ticking now. Time up. Contestants, please raise your answers starting off with podium one. 
post traumatic stress disorder podium 2 post traumatic stress disorder podium 3 post traumatic stress disorder podium 4 post traumatic stress and disorder and the answer that i have with me here is post traumatic stress disorder you are reminded to only start writing when i say your time is now moving on to the last question in relation to climate change what does the abbreviation cop stand for i'll take it one more time in relation to climate change, what does the abbreviation COP stand for? And your time starts now. Time up. Contestants, uh, please raise your answers starting off with podium one. We have climate of potential. Podium two. We have climate and prevention. Is that O a bold O? Yeah, it's a bold O. Or it's a zero? It's an O. <laughs> or orange. Podium number three. Conference of parties. Podium number four. Commission of P. Commission of P. Interesting. And the answer that I have with me here is Conference of Parties. If you're just joining me, this is the fifth edition of the Say What Quiz Challenge, proudly brought to you by Say What and supported by the Swedish Embassy in Zimbabwe. Right about now, we're going to take a short break and we'll be back soon. Hello viewers and welcome back to the 5th edition of the Say What Quiz Challenge proudly brought to you by Say What and supported by the Swedish Embassy and Zimbabwe. Moving on to category 2 of our questions which are on the definition of terms. Question 1. Define eclampsia. Define eclampsia and your time starts now. Time up, contestants, please erase your answers, starting off with podium one. We have nothing. Podium two. We say that it is the change from the normal body functionality to. Podium three. Uh, we said it's a medical condition whereby a woman's womb has a growth. Podium number four. The, we wrote that it's a mental disorder that results in consuming. Okay, let's say you're given the chance. Consuming what? Uh, uh, just consuming. Just consuming. <laughs> Interesting. And the answer that I have with me here is, it is a life-threatening condition during pregnancy or shortly after giving birth, characterized by development of seizures. I'll take it one more time. It is a life-threatening condition during pregnancy or shortly after giving birth, characterized by the development of seizures. Let's move on to the next question. Define menorrhagia. Define menorrhagia and your time starts now. Time up. Contestants, please raise your answers starting off with podium one. Low flow of periods. Podium two. Uh, we wrote uh, it is a process whereby there is a change from uh, normal functionality of the uh, productive system of a male. Podium number three. <coughs> it's blank. It's, there's nothing. And they say it boldly and loud because it's your answer. Boldly and loud. It's blank. <laughs> it's blank. Podium number four. 
I've heard that it's ex- excessive bleeding during periods. All right, and the answer that I have with me here is menorrhagia is the medical term for menstrual periods with abnormally heavy or prolonged bleeding. I'll take it one more time. Menorrhagia is the medical term for menstrual periods with abnormally heavy or prolonged bleeding. Moving on to the next question. In relation to mental health, define the term attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. In relation to mental health, define the term attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and your time starts now. Time up, pants down, please raise your answers, starting off with podium one. We have nothing. Podium two? Uh, we wrote, uh, this is when there is a brain dysfunction causing seizure. Podium three? Uh, we wrote, this is a mental condition whereby someone has an unusually short attention span, uh, coma, lack of focus. Podium four? Uh, we wrote that it's uh, a condition that results in low attention span. A person can only pay attention for a short time. And the answer that I have with me here is Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD, is a neurodevelopmental disorder characterized by excessive amounts of inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsivity that are perversive, impairing in multiple contexts, and otherwise age inappropriate. If you are just joining us, this is the fifth edition of the Say What Peace Channel. Challenge proudly brought to you by Say What and supported by the Swedish Embassy in Zimbabwe. I'm your host, the Dynamite. Right about now, we're going to take a short break and we'll be back shortly. Hello viewers and welcome back to the 5th edition of the Say What Peace Challenge proudly brought to you by Say What and supported by the Swedish Embassy and Zimbabwe jumping on to the next category of our questions on general knowledge. This is the last set of questions remember that will determine your fate it's either you staying or you're going back home. Question number one. What is the name of a parastatal under the Ministry of Health and Child Care established by an Act of Parliament in 1985 to coordinate the provision of family planning services in Zimbabwe? I'll take it one more time. What is the name of the parastatal under the Ministry of Health and Child Care established by an Act of Parliament in 1985 to coordinate the provision of family planning services in Zimbabwe? Your time starts now. Time up. Contestants, please erase your answers starting off with podium one. PSI. Podium two. Zimbabwe National F- Family Planning Council. Podium three. Zimbabwe Family Planning Council. Zimbabwe Family Planning Council. Podium four. Zimbabwe National Family Planning Commission. And the answer that I have with me is Zimbabwe National Family Planning Council. Moving on to the next question. Lina Masela Medina de Jurado is a Peruvian woman who became the youngest confirmed mother in history when she gave birth on the 14th of May 1939. How old was she when she first gave birth? I'll take it one more time. 
Lina Masila Medina de Giraldo is a Peruvian woman who became the youngest confirmed mother in history when she gave birth on the 14th of May 1939. How old was she when she first gave birth? And your time starts now. Hands down, please raise your answers. Podium one, six. Podium two, eight. Podium three, nine years old. Podium four, fourteen years old. And the answer that I have with B here is five years, seven months, and twenty-one days. Moving on to the last category of our questions. Remember, some of you will be stepping down. What does the ribbon symbolize in gender response? What does the ribbon symbolize in gender response? Please check your screens and your time starts now. Time up, raise your answers, starting off with podium one. Male gender. Podium two. Gender equality. Podium three. Gender equity. Podium four. Gender equality. And the answer that I have with me here is mental health awareness. Moving on to the last question. Identify the family planning method in that picture. Identify the family planning method and the picture, and your time starts now. Hands down, please raise your answers, starting off with podium one. Uh, Jadel in underneath it's injectable. Podium two. Interuterine device. Podium three. Depo Provera. Podium four. Depo Provera. And the answer that I have with me here is Sayana Press. And when you guys walked in, you were dancing and all excited. Let's talk about the mental health feeling right now. Podium one, how are you feeling? Ah, I'm still cool. You're you know. still cool. Yeah. Eh, eh, he's wrong. It was an accident. It was an accident. Yeah. Okay, and podium number two, how are you feeling? <clears throat> you want some air? Uh, I think it's no longer uh, a quiz session. We are now at Sahara Desert. Was it <laughs> hot here? <laughs> Interesting. Don't worry, you have a pool, right? It's covered. <laughs> podium number three, how are you feeling? Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Podium number four. This is the first third round that I felt in my life. <laughs> Interesting. You've never felt all your rounds. <laughs> all right, and the lady. She grew shorter. Somebody is saying you are actually now shorter than the way you were before. <laughs> Yeah, I think I got shorter because of the questions. Because of the <laughs> questions. Interesting, interesting. Um, right about now, if I may request the scoreboard. The results are as follows. Great Zimbabwe University, 10 points. Chinoy University, 20 points. Wanda State University, 30 points points bindura university of science education 30 points
And if you're just joining us, this was the fifth edition of the Say What Quiz Challenge, proudly brought to you by Say What and supported by the Swedish Embassy in Zimbabwe. Please do make sure that you get in touch with us on our toll-free number that is 577 for psychosocial support, SRHR services and child protection solutions. Until next time, I am the Dynamite.